I feel like I'm back in high school chemistry. Next time I go camp, I'll probably stock up on MREs. Yeah. First off, obviously we want to thank our military members for coming in and shooting this episode with us today. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> Thanks. I'm an aircraft mechanic in the U.S. Air Force, and I'm about halfway in my contract, about three years in. Yes, I was in the Army for nine years. Uh, I was a food service guy. I pretty much cooked the food and uh, did my thing, you know? Wow. Trained. I was basically an analyst. I worked in Intel. I was in the military for just shy of four years, and it was a great time. I met some of my like best friends in the military. I was young I, when I went in, very young. I was like 18 when I went on active duty. And, and the military, all branches, I think, give young people so much responsibilities that they've never had before in their life. I am honored to have served, and God bless America. So we're gonna uh, share one aspect of what might be a part of your experience with us today. Uh, we're gonna be sampling some MREs. All right, oh my boy. favorite. Oh boy, Whoa. are you in for a oh. treat? <laughs> MREs are self-contained food rations that service members use in combat or in other situations where there's no food available. And today, you'll get to try the meals frequently listed as favorites from those in the service. Okay, Perfect. okay, good. I hope these people are getting good like food. Like six kinds of dog crap, probably. But you know, if they're good no, enough for the people out, let's be optimistic, yeah. let's go down. Yeah, let's do that. Army Marines, they have uh, MREs more. Um, Air Force, maybe we get more of the fancy food, but <laughs> not um, a bad thing, though. Not, not a bad thing. <laughs> For starters, we'll see how you guys do in preparing this. I'll let you do the honors. Oh my, it's literally like in a bag. Menu six, vegetarian chili with beans. They even got some vegetarian options. Hey. How nice. Usually just peel it from the top. But like you said, <laughs> this, this might help right now. The scissors. It's like a whole bunch of stuff in here. What? In uh, other MRE pouches, there's like cheese spread for crackers and peanut mm. butter and jelly and stuff like that. And that was like currency in the middle of the Oh, place. really? Be like, hey man, I'll trade you uh, I'll trade you two cheese packets if you give me those cookies. It doesn't look appealing. Everything's so, like it would be different if it were like color coded, like, oh, the red, the green, like everything's just so vanilla and beige. This counts for a whole, 2,500 calorie meal in one thing. So what do we got? So we got sugar cookies, mm -hmm. toasted corn, orange flavored drink mix with vitamin C added. You need to try these crackers. Crackers. Please. Yes, you need to try the crackers. And then, okay, we did that, we did that, we did that. And then whatever this bad boy is here, what That's is this? That's how you heat oh, it. Oh, this is the flameless ration heater. What? It, it, no, no, leave, leave that this? in. Yeah. Dump this inside the bag. Okay. What the? And now add water. I'll be yeah. the pourer and you be the hold opener. And then careful, because it does get when. pretty hot pretty quickly. Okay. It gets hot. I don't know how it does that. I think the water I, uh, we're there. Nope. Can you hear it? Yeah, it's already bubbly. This is crazy how chemistry like works, right? <laughs> is it like getting hot? <gasps> it's getting warm. <laughs> this is like black magic. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in High school chemistry with yeah. Mr. Pavanato. This is very cool. Now fold. 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 And let this thing heat up a little bit. You'll see the smoke come out soon. Yeah. And meanwhile, you could always uh, open up these crackers. If you didn't like the main entree, you always got like everything else in there, which is cool. You got crackers and toasted corn. Corn and and the candy. Interesting. It's like. It's almost like a corn nut, but it's not a corn nut. Oh my gosh, can I have these Smarties? They give you a little dessert. So it's hot sauce in here, it's salt, pepper, a wet white. This is fun. I would do this just for fun. To think that they used to come with a little laxative gum. What? All right guys, you ready to actually give some of these a try? I would, uh, yes. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm very intrigued. I never heated mine up, ever, because well, one, my drill sergeant was like, you can't heat it up if you're in combat. Like, if you see that little smoke plume, like, you give your location away. And so I've never really eaten them hot, to be oh, honest that's with crazy. you. So you can't, but you can't eat them, like, there's yeah, all of them. Yeah, you literally just, just you, open you it, open the bag up. and just eat it, yeah. Wow, that's so yeah. interesting. So this is menu number one. This is beef stew. Beef stew. It looks like we could probably survive eating that. Let me smell it first. It smells good. I don't remember if I like this or not, so. 
We'll see. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It tastes like, um, what's that one in the can? The, the hearty? I eat that. When you're hungry. Camping? Like, can you imagine? Like, you're camping? Ah, this would be great for camping, man. Are you kidding me? I mean, I'm, I'll probably, the next time I go camping, probably stock up on MREs. Yeah. Kind of chewy. Mmm. Um, I think it's, I think it's roadkill stew. Is that what it is? You know, it's not... It's not horrible. Horrible. Uh, I've had worse. Uh. No, it's good. I like it. Yeah, that's just enough vegetables for me or a good old beef stew. I think that's why. I think it has too many vegetables. I feel like it's like canned soup. Like I, mm-hmm. if it, I yeah. got this at a restaurant, I'd kind of be like, mm, okay, I guess. It needs some black pepper. It needs a pinch of salt. Like it, it, it needs to be dressed And it could up. use a taste of real food in here too. <laughs> so this is chicken noodle stew. Oh. Not oh, chicken noodle soup, stew. chicken noodle stew. So this one looks more pasta-like. Yeah. Noodles. Kind of softer texture. What is up with all this stew, guys? What is guys? this? This is chicken noodle stew. Okay, I like chicken. Oh, I like okay. Okay, here goes. Bon appetit. Let me get some noodle up in here. You know, it's, I think that's slightly better than the other one from my perspective. This one is better than the beef one to me. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a different flavor than what you would expect with like a chicken noodle. Yeah, actually, yeah. But it's not bad. It's like canned Progresso, but MRE ration. Mm. Like, these are very doable. Soup in a bag, you know? It's oh, I mean, like, I mean, this is as good as you're gonna get yeah. for soup in a bag. This beef is definitely winning. Mm. But it's not bad. It tastes like real food, you know? Like, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't taste like, like, <laughs> You know, like it's real food. It was. It's hot. You just don't like soup. Yeah, it's just not like to my liking. I think <laughs> there was a thing that was chip beef uh, with Ooh, gravy on toast. I've heard about that. And we used to call it SOS, and you can imagine what that stands for. So I've heard about the chipped beef on oh, on on toast. It's a staple. Even if I had other options, I might even still eat this. Wow. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's got the Ashby seal of approval. <laughs> <laughs> Here is your vegetarian chili that you're cooking up chili. right now. Uh, chili! Oh, and we just made this. Yeah, well, we just, yeah. And we need some cheese. Spicy. spicy. This is what I always like, the spicy stuff. Good for your taste buds. Okay, this is giving me a flashback, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mmm. <laughs> the beans were good, but the artificial beef was, <laughs> I wasn't having it. Literally, Taco Bell seems like it's really, really good compared to this. This is literally flavorless. Like I would have to, I see why the crackers and the hot sauce and all of that comes with it. Cause I'd have to like really yeah, doctor this up. Taste. It's not spicy at all. I need some extra hot sauce, some kind of I'm about to say, give me some sriracha side. or some tapatio or something. You don't expect it to be like, this. These are military rations they're eating in the field on deployment because they're they're just moving. So you can't expect it to be like, oh, gourmet meal. No, yeah. they've got time for that. <laughs> they gotta be able to eat and go. Like if I had to eat it, I would, but this is not one that I would choose. I think I chose this one a lot. Did you? Mm-hmm. There's a flavor thing that's like not the for me the best. This one also is like pretty bland. Like you need the salt and pepper packs for this oh. one. Oh. Yeah, for Secret, sure. A little insider secret. Next up, this is pasta marinara with imitation meat. This okay. doesn't look too bad. It smells good. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, no. This is also one I would prefer usually if I could get it. I can't. The marinara is delicious. I can't. I can definitely taste the marinara, but like without the marinara, it would be like trash. This is pretty good. Yeah, I might take, I might choose. This is my favorite so far. I agree, yeah. I'm liking that this is not a hey. soup. Hey, I like that one. No, that's pretty, that's tasty. It's like spicy. The flavor's good. Uh, it, you can even see the little pieces of cilantro in it, so. Fancy. Or, yeah. Ooh, there's a weird aftertaste at the end. Mm-hmm. It's like stuck there. It's like, in the beginning, it doesn't go away. Oh, perfect. <laughs> At least for a little while. That's an. I wonder what that is that's causing that. I'm glad that I'm not 
nearly as disappointed as, as I was expecting to be. I was pleasantly surprised at the taste of this one. This yeah, one was, this one, I think, a little way bit more. This is the best one we've had this afternoon. Got a kind of different one for you guys. This is gumbo. 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 Hmm. Soupy looking. I've never seen this before. Oh, like, I, like I don't know how you got this. If I had this, I could have traded this. Like, oh, probably. I got gumbo. And people probably would have been like, take everything yeah. I have. <laughs> My nickname is the Gumbo Goddess. I don't play oh. around with gumbo, okay? I hate when people call gumbo, call things gumbo that is not gumbo. It's good. It's good. Out of all of them, this is the best one. I could actually like make this on my own because I can't cook regularly, but I could definitely put stuff in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. This looks like super hearty, like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Tastes like gumbo. That's the thing about MREs, all the beef stuff generally tastes the same. All the chicken stuff generally tastes the same. Mm. That's why a lot of people liked the vegetarian stuff because that those taste different from each other. It's not bad. This is good because you got like everything in there. Oh. Oh, I think it's horrible. Get this All away right. from me. The roux, the base of the gumbo, is not supposed to be gravy-like in consistency. This is far too thick. And so I can tell that this was not prepared with love. That is the nicest thing that I can say about this. Aww. Every Thursday in our uh, cafeteria, we had soul food. So gumbo would be one of the main things down. Same thing with uh, the greens, ham hocks, you name it. The ribs, mac and cheese. Gumbo would be the one of the main dishes out there. Honestly, I couldn't complain. I could have all of them again. The gumbo, I would try that one again. I, I would try all of them, honestly. Just yeah, they were... I couldn't complain with any of them. I wouldn't want the same one because it kind of gets boring. But oh, yeah, yeah. You want to switch it up. Actually, I want to have you try those crackers because oh, those crackers. Oh, the crackers. Yeah, right. the crackers. You, did, you talked about that. Yeah, the crackers. <laughs> Cheers. I think. <laughs> they are so dry. <laughs> the moisture in my mouth is gone. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching us try MREs. On the React channel. What food should we try next? Tell us in the comments. Mm -hmm. Bye. Love ya. Bye. Hey guys, Ethan here from the React channel. A big, big thank you to our servicemen and women who came in and shot this episode with us. And from all of us here at FBE, a huge, huge thank you to all of the servicemen and women out there watching. Bye guys.